everybody, it's Gem Start team member Swellin, and today we will read a book about a boy who plays outside on a windy day. Wind is what we feel when the air moves. We can't see wind, but we can see when it moves the leaves on the trees. In this story, the wind moves a lot of things, like a balloon, a kite, a pinwheel, even a gate on the fence. When the, mo when the wind moves things outside, it can make noises that sound like a whisper. Yoo-hoo! Kind of like that. When there is a storm outside, or the wind is blowing very hard, sometimes it can sound like a howling or making a loud, long cry. The wind blows a lot of things around and makes many different noises in the story. We'll find out what the boy Gilberto thinks about the wind when we read the story. So, let's go. Gilberto and the Wind by Mary Hollets. I am Gilberto, and this is a story of me and the wind. Here's a Gilberto with a kite. I hear wind whispering at the door. Yoo hoo! He whispers, Yoo hoo! So I get my balloon and I run out to play. And to whisper, just to clarify, is to speak softly. You usually do this when you're in class trying to talk to your friends. At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air. To be gentle is to be soft and quiet. So that means that the wind wasn't making any yoo-hoo noises and was being very gentle with his balloon so it wouldn't fly away. But then, with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of a tree. Wind, oh wind, I say. Blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers, yoo-hoo. And here, Gobelto is frustrated. And this is to feel angry or upset about not being able to do something. And in this case, Gilberto can't get his balloon back because the wind blew it really harshly. And here he is trying to get it back, trying to reach, but of course he can't. Wind loves to play with the, the wash on the line. He blows the pillow slips into balloons and shakes the sheets and twists the apron strings. So right here, this is a wash line. And this is something that people use to hang their clothes when they don't have a dryer. And he pulls out all the clothespins that he can. Then he tries on the clothes, though he knows they're too small. A clothespin are clips for hanging the laundry on the wash line. So right here, if you can see, there's little lines showing the clips. And what Wind was trying to do was trying to fit through all the clothes. But of course, they were too small. And Wind loves umbrellas. Once, when I took one out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me. When, and when he couldn't, he broke it. So Gilberto was out in the rain with an umbrella so that he wouldn't get wet. And the wind was so strong that the wind was taking it from him, as you can see here, and eventually broke. In the gate, in the pasture, if the gate in the pasture is left unlatched, wind plays with that too. He opens it up, then bangs it shut, making it squeak and cry. This is the gate that he's talking about, and when it's not locked, so I mean when it's not closed properly, the wind moves it back and forth a lot, and it makes a lot of noises. It makes squeaky noises, and it sounds like it's kind of crying. <laughs> wind, oh wind, I say, and I go climb on. Give me a ride, but with me on the gate, it's too heavy. Wind can't move it at all. So when weight is added to something that's really light, Things, are start, things start to get hard to move, so the wind can't easily move it, which is why Gilberto can't ride the gate. When the grass is tall in the meadow, when do I like to race? Wind runs ahead, then comes back and starts over, but he always wins, because he just runs over the top of the grass, and I have to run through it and touch the ground with my feet. Here you can see wind just going over it, he doesn't have to go through the, the grass of the meadow. And Gilberto is trying to race him, but he has to go through the grass. And he has a little bit more work to do than the wind. When the big boys on the hill have kites to fly, wind helps them out. Wind carries their kites way up to the sky and all around. A kite is a toy that flies in the air, lifted by the wind. And most of the times they're colorful and they are in a diamond shape. 
We hear that the kites are that the other boys are playing with, and Gilberto is looking at the wind carrying them. But when I have a kite, wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. See, and here you can see that the wind isn't really helping Gilberto out fly his kite. Wind, oh wind, I say. I don't like you today. And here Gilberto is frustrated again because his kite won't fly. And it seems like it got all messed up. When the apples are ripe in the fall, I run with the wind to the pasture and wait under the tree. And wind always blows one down for me. When something is ripe, it's ready to eat. In this case, that's when the apples are ripe, and that's in the fall season. And here you can see Gilberto looking at the apples, waiting for them to come down. And as soon as wind blows it down for them, he's able to get them. And when I have a boat with a paper sail, wind, sail, wind comes and sails it for me, just as a, he sails the big sailboats for sailors on the sea. And here you can see Gilberto playing with the little sailboat, and wind moves it around for him. And when I have a pinwheel, wind comes in place too. A pinwheel is a toy that spins in the wind. There's usually multiple little um, petals, they, they're usually um, like flower shaped, and when the wind passes through it, it ends up moving it, so that it looks like a pretty mix of colors. First, I blow it myself to show him how. Then I hold it out and hold it up, and then blows it for me. And when he blows it, he turns it so fast that it whistles and sings, and all I can see is a blur. A blur is something that you cannot see clearly. This is usually how people see when they don't have their glasses on. And here you can see that Gilberto is first showing the wind how to blow the pinwheel. And then when he holds it out and sticks it on the air, the wind blows it for him. And it goes so fast that he can't even see it and it looks like a blur. Wind likes my soap bubbles best of all. He can't make the bubbles. I have to do that. But he carries them way up into the air for me into the air for the sun to color then he blows some back and makes me laugh when they burst in my eyes or on the back of my hand and here you can see Gilberto playing with bubbles and of course he has to blow himself first and then once they're blown up the wind can carry them throughout the air and Gilberto thinks it's funny when they go back when they splash back into their eyes because the wind is bringing it back to him When the leaves have fallen of, off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile. But then wind comes along and just shows that he can sweep without a broom. Wind scatters the leaves all about again, and then he blows dirt in my face. Oh, that's not really nice. Gilberto is probably frustrated because he was trying to put all the leaves together in one pile, like you can see right here. But then the wind blows it all away and scatters them and just makes him have to restart. Sometimes, wind is so strong that he starts breaking the trees and knocking down fences. Then, I'm afraid. And to be afraid is to feel fear or be scared of something. Like some people are when they're scared of spiders. I run in the house and lock the door. And when the wind comes howling after me and tries to squeeze me in through the keyhole, I tell him, no! And just to clarify, howling is making a long, loud cry like a wolf. This is what we were talking about earlier. And in these pictures, you can see that Gilberto is really scared of the wind and how he's so strong that he knocks down all the trees and the fences. And when Gilberto goes inside, he can feel the wind trying to creep in and get him back. So he's scared and he says, no. But then comes a day when wind is all tired out. Wind, I whisper, oh wind, where are you? answers Wim, and he stirs one dry leaf to show where he is, so I lie down beside him, and we both go to sleep under the willow tree. And here's Gilberto listening to the wind, even though he's not as strong that day, and just hanging out with him. And that's the end of our story. So let's just go over some vocabulary really quickly. Whispered. This is what Gilberto thought that the wind was doing when it would make noise. And this is to speak softly. Gentle. 
is soft and quiet. This is what the wind was at first when the, when the wind was playing with uh, Gilberto's balloon. And to feel frustrated is to feel angry or upset about not being able to do something. Um, you maybe have felt this when you couldn't get a toy or you couldn't get that McDonald's ice cream. <laughs> and a clothespin. This is a clip or to hang laundry on a line. And many people don't use um, a wash light anymore just because we have dryers. Um, but this is something that people still do use, um, just not as frequently. A kite is a toy that flies in the air, lifted by the wind. And this is what the big, the uh, older boys were playing with and the wind was helping him. But when Gilberto wanted to do it, the wind wasn't really as kind to him. Right is when a fruit or something is ready to eat. This is a green banana, and that means it's unripe. But when a banana is yellow and has like a little bit of brown spots around it, that means it's ripe. A pinwheel is a toy that spins in the wind. Many people leave the pinwheels outside their house, so you might have seen it in someone's front yard, and it just spins on its own with the wind pushing it. Blur, this is something that you cannot see clearly. And like I had said earlier, it's, it probably happens to a lot of people who wear glasses and then don't end up wearing them sometimes. Afraid. This is to feel fear or be scared of something. This is how Gilberto felt when the wind was really acting scary and harsh with the trees and breaking everything down. He got scared because there was a lot of loud noises and things breaking around him. And that's the, that's the end of our story today and our vocabulary check. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope you guys are all safe and have a great rest of your day.